Steve, a 1-1 one, one draw. Um, good point, or do you feel it should have been more? Um, I think probably had we defended better from the front for their equaliser, it, it definitely could have been you know, the three points. But um, I think probably on the day, I think it was a hard-fought game. Um, probably a, a draw ends up being a fair result, probably, on the day. And you've waited a while for your team to, to score the opening goal in a game. It happened today. How pleasing was that for, for that to, to, to happen for the first time? Well, it's time? always pleasing. I mean, you know, it's just a pity that we couldn't go and get um, another one to build on top of it. That's, that's what we would have liked. But, um, you know, it's, it's difficult for the lads at the moment, you know, because they're in a bit of a, in a, bit of a strange place. And they're still only young lads and they don't quite always not know what to do in their moments. But... You know, I thought today they showed great character because, you know, if you if you look at it a couple of times in the second half, we really had to defend our box very well. Their side ended up getting bigger, our side ended up getting smaller, and all of a sudden a few big balls in the box could cause us a few problems. I thought it was a couple of fantastic blocks, great tackles towards the end, um, which was no different probably to, to last season, whereas I don't think we've defended... Um, as well this season as we did today and certainly in and around our own box. And for Sam Cosgrove, uh, scoring in successive home matches in, in League One, that must be pleasing. Well, yeah, it's pleasing. Of course it's pleasing, you know, there's, um, and there's more that can be added to his game. And um, it'll, be a, it'll be a work in progress and we've still got to work on the other things that we feel as though he needs to prove, improve on as well. Never a good time to concede, of course there isn't, but... You know, when you can see just on the, uh, the, the stroke of half-time, is, is that particularly tough to take? It's tough to take any time anyone scores a goal against us. You know, it doesn't matter what minute it is. So, you know, the fact that then you, you have to get back in at half-time um, and then you've got to regroup again. So, you know, it was a, it was a poor time to concede a goal, but you can't, you can't always pick and choose, you know. You know, it was just that, that one moment where he gets in and ends up, like, clipping the ball in the corner, you know. I think, I think any time a goal would have gone in, you know, it, it wouldn't have been pleasing. And we're not pleased about any goal that goes in. But all in all, you know, to be fair to them today, I thought they defended very well. What was the message from you to the players at, at half-time, Steve, at one apiece? Well, I think that should all stay in the stay in the dressing room. You know, I don't know, I don't quite know what you want me to tell you there because we haven't got 15 minutes live on air and we haven't got, you know, a ball that we can show you what we need to work on or what we needed to do. So, you know, we changed a couple of things tactically, we think, that helped us at half-time. Um, and I think that in the second half, we ended up bearing the fruits of that at, at, in some parts of the game. So, you know, uh, you know those, those sort of things. We wouldn't have time now to stand and me tell you everything that we talked about at half-time. But, you know, there was, a, there was a fair bit, probably more about what was going to go on in the second half than what had actually happened in the first half, apart from the goal, of course. In terms of tactics, are you happy with the flexibility you've got in terms of you know tweaking things as and when required during games? Yeah, yeah. And the way the players are taking everything on board? Yeah, I'm absolutely. Why are you not? Not at all. I'm very happy. Very yeah, happy there you go, me. brilliant. Now we're on the same page. I'm delighted with that. <laughs> in terms of the second half performance, uh, there were chances at, at, at both ends. Both yeah. teams clearly going for it. Yeah, no, I think it was. I, I mean, the trouble is when, it, when the game gets... 80 minutes on the clock there and it becomes ding dong on a boiling hot day you're always fearful because you don't want one to go in your net but then we had a couple of chances you know higher up I haven't looked at the Matthew Pennington um, shout for a penalty yet I haven't seen that I haven't spoken to Matthew about it but you know a few people seem a little bit convinced about it whether they whether it was a penalty or not I don't quite know um, the only thing I would say is I think that you know, with certainly some of the decisions today, I think that they got the rub of the green. I would say that. I'm not, I'm not sure that we got the rub of the green on a few of the um, decisions that were going on today. And yeah. obviously the stoppage. I need to mention the stoppage. The boy that, that went down and was down for a long time, you know, I hope he's OK, because he did take a smack in the, a smack in the teeth. And um, it was purely accidental, but he did take a smack in the teeth. And we, you know, we hope he's OK. You know, that was pure accident, but he was genuinely injured. And how's Aaron Pierre, uh, by the way? You had to uh, OK, on. he was just, um, he just couldn't see out of, the, out of the one eye. He was a bit dazed for a little while and 
you know, I think that probably showed because he ended up being all over the place for a little bit for five minutes. But but we didn't know it was that. You know, we we, we kept him there until he said he couldn't see anymore out of the one eye. I mean, you know, that can happen sometimes when you get a migraine. It certainly isn't a concussion injury or anything like that. So we're okay with that, um, and he's okay now. You know, it's uh, it's a lot clearer. Sometimes that can happen when you can get. You can get one of, I didn't know it was a migraine, he could have a migraine, because sometimes that sun can give you a migraine, it can trigger it off. Um, but he's, he's OK now, thankfully, yeah. You worked the opposition goalkeeper more today than you have in, in other games. Is that yeah. something you've really been working on and, and <laughs> yeah. drumming into the players over the Probably, the last week? probably, yeah, probably. You know, there's been a lot of work done on all aspects. Been a very tiring week, I think, probably for myself, for the players. Been a lot of hard work put into it. Um, you know, with what's gone on in, in the preparation and the hard work for the game, it would have been a it would have been a real travesty today had we gone and got beat. That would have been a real kick in the teeth. So you feel a step in the right direction in conclusion, Steve, and something you can, can build on there? What it is when you're getting beat, isn't it? So it's always a step. You know, sometimes I think, you know, um, I'll be looking forward to you you guys saying we've moved up a place. So we'll take all them small gains at this moment in time and uh, carry on working. Um, we've got a good group of lads, um, incredibly supportive chairman. So, yeah, we keep working and, and, a, and a fan base that got behind the lads again today and thank them for, for all their efforts as well. Thanks for your time, Steve. Pleasure, thank you.